Welcome back friends. In this video we will be talking about dichotomous keys. Now what are dichotomous keys? So let, let me write it first. Uh, it is called dichotomous keys. Now dichotomous keys are set of paired statements. So they are simply paired statements. Paired statements which is having most of the time a yes or no answers and by using these dichotomous keys using these pair statements we are identifying bacteria actually not bacteria bacterium so what what's going on normally we need to identify bacteria for our research purpose as well as uh, for medical screening of what bacteria we are getting from blood smear what bacteria we are getting from stool and urine many different sections like that in medical microbiology we need to screen and know the identity of a particular bacteria to know that identity of that bacteria we use a set of paired statements and we do some chemical tests and also some uh, staining and different types of chemical tests to get and know this uh, and also microscopy to know the structure of that bacteria and depend upon their structure their chemical nature we put them in different part now using this dichotomous keys or these paired statements to co to question that whether this bacteria can ferment glucose or not whether this bacteria is getting the stain or not whether the bacteria is rod shaped or spherical right so depend upon these questions that we are forming depend upon these pair statements each of bacteria each of the single bacteria we are screening they have a unique set of answers for dichotomous keys now once we find those answers we will get that bacteria we know the identification of the bacteria that's what dichotomous key is so set of pair statements by getting the answer of those pair statements we finally can know what bacteria we are dealing with okay now in this dichotomous keys i am giving you an example so example of dichotomous keys it is arranged like this first uh, and foremost thing about this dichotomous key formation is the first question whether it is getting the gram stain or not gram staining they always get gram staining but what kind of gram staining it is so two possibilities is there positive negative so is it if it's a positive then we call it a gram positive negative is a gram negative now now if i look at the structural feature then let me write structure of that bacteria after the gram staining whether it is uh, rod shaped or spherical so we can get an answer so you can see that the questions are having two possibilities only either this or that like that now for example we begin with gram staining so we first go for gram staining whether it is a gram positive or not we said yes it's a gram positive then we go back from this term to structure of that gram positive bacteria now what is the structure rod or spherical the answer is rod shape so now we take this rod and go for further test like this the outcome of one will help us to go for a second round of dichotomous keys so this is how it completely arranged in such a way so that we can find the type of bacteria now we can also test it for for whether whether they tolerate o2 or not the answer here is tolerate o2 yes or no now let's say the answer came yes so now we again take this as a statement and go for another chemical reactions now now the second time for example let's say here j uh, what let's say uh, can they ferment lactose now again two as questions will be there two two possibilities yes or no now here let's say the answer is no then we take this one and go for another so this is the way guys this is the way it builds do not try to mug up all these things but try to understand the basic concept that this is a series of questions and answers which is helping us to guide through a huge spectrum because you don't know what bacteria you are dealing with it's a huge possibility it can be gram positive gram negative million possibilities so among those possibilities we are finding a way to go from a broad area to a very small a point 
to that particular point of our desired bacterial identification and how to identify that we need to exclude different possibilities and how to exclude different possibilities the only way to exclude different possibility is to taste for different processes taste for the structure taste for the type of staining they are retaining the taste for their temperature tolerance their oxygen tolerance and their different ability for uh, utilizing different chemical things uh, for example lactose or uh, they can use simon citrate uh, citrate as a sole carbon source so depend upon different chemical tastes and staining we can go from a huge possibility to one because once we know one answer of a particular paired statement it is getting us towards so it's just like a staircase guys it's kind of staircase so you're just standing at the bottom and you're going to go to the top so once you're asking you a question if it's yes i'll be putting a one one part ahead or a no i'll be putting a one part ahead because whatever we get an answer we are going close to our destination that's identifying the bacteria okay so that's the overview of dichotomous key and it is very useful guys many chemical tests are there among them imvic tests are there voges poskauer indole uh, lactic uh, this lactose tolerant and lactic acid fermentation then also glycerol fermentation test is there and uh, simon citrate media test is there so many different chemical tests are there nitrate test is there to identify your bacteria so that's the way we do this in lab for research clinical research and also many times using in uh, hospitals to know what kind of bacteria we are getting from different smears so that's it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you